Hey there, everyone. <clears throat> As you see, my voice is healing. But hey there, everyone. We're shaking. How you doing today? This is Pat, and I'm the Queen of Wands. Welcome back. I've been sick, guys, but welcome back. I missed you all, so we're shaking. So I'm up tonight, and I'm having some coffee. You know my favorite shit, okay, with my treats, okay? All right, y'all starting to get to know a bit, huh? All right, so I missed you guys. You know, a lot of things been going on and stuff. You know, I was sick and I was shut down for a minute there. You know, it was the flu and everything. But throughout that time, I was able to still channel a lot of energy. You know, I write down everything. I come to the fucking table and I write that shit down as soon as I get that thought. Okay? So I got a lot of energies and shit that's going on. And we need to talk tonight. Okay? So, I hope you guys got a fucking minute because I got some shit to talk. Okay, and I want to say, hey, Don, we're shaking over in Cali. I really had a great time with you this evening. Okay, and um, I look forward to talking to you soon. All right, so um, it's just been a lot of energies going on. All right, so it's been a lot of fighting going on. Okay, and someone could have possibly went to jail. Okay, um, due to an argument in a third party situation. Okay, there could have been um, some sickness going on. It's a kid situation going on, a pregnancy. There could have been a work situation ship. Okay, a third party going on at work that could have been found out. All right, somebody could have stole somebody's money. All right, there could have been an accident. And here's that old drunk again. We always get somebody who's a drunk, okay? You know they've been drinking a lot and everything like that. This, but this could be either or, okay? And somebody's really suffering from a betrayal, a deception. Besides us, who the fuck else? But okay. Um, and there could have been a, a karmic situation where a karmic found out about another karmic being pregnant, okay? That could have had that to a fight. All right. And I've been constantly seeing, you know, this card in my head. It's the Kipper deck. The message of concern. OK. And the message of concern that I keep getting is an STD. All right. So that energy is back here again. And somebody literally found out that they have HIV. OK. And someone's not telling people. And they're hiding the results. But however, the Department of Health will send you a message. All right. Um, the next one is you guys have been seeing 555, 444, 1111, 1122, 777, 111, 333. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to Paris. All right. So I get the energy over in Paris. Please be careful because when I seen Paris, I seen coronavirus. All right. So you guys be careful over there. You don't want that shit coming over there, too. But however, it's floating all around. So we don't really have a say so. All right. So I want to give a shout out to Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. She was one of my free uh, winners in the drawing for my um, 4,000 views, viewers, I mean, subscribers, okay? And I am your auntie, hun. It was a great time working with you, okay? And somebody's still stuck on fucking Anita Baker. Can I get a break already? I love her too, but please. Um, next, um, I hear Michael, all right? I wanna give a shout out to my girl, Ashley. Hey girl, you got coffee again. And then my girl, Ash. Hey, girl. And then, hey, Rachel. I seen that comment tonight. <laughs> I'm still silly. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The next energy I got is somebody bought some mace. Somebody's feeling a little insecure, a little scared. All right. And somebody bought some mace. All right. Maybe that little pink can. Okay. I seen a pink can with a chain on it. Okay. And, um, hey, Divine Fam, you know who I'm talking about, girl. The one who always gives me some love. Hey. <laughs> All right. And then, 
Let me see this. Before I get to this message from the divine, all right? It's a message that the divine whew, himself um, wants to share with um, those who have decided to walk away from the twin flame journey because of their value, their love, and their self-respect, okay? Who utilize their free will, okay? Um, the divine is saying, now that you have surrendered, what are you doing to replace, to heal that hurt and that wound? What are you doing? Are you still sitting and wallow? Or are you missing the opportunity to manifest your dreams? I am here to assist you and guide you and help you manifest, but you choose to sit and wallow. You are supposed to manifest your dreams and live a new life. Even if you have to go it alone. I am here to help you manifest your dreams. But you do nothing but wallow in misery, fear, and pain. So, whew. There's a lot of divine films <clears throat> that's out there that feel so hurt, so betrayed, so deceived. Like this is the worst that they have ever experienced in deception in their life. And you guys are having a hard time healing. It's easier said than done, as you say. But you have to heal slowly. You have to push yourself to get back up and find you again. Yes, you gave your life to someone who did not value you or cherish you. You have learned your lesson. It's time to prosper, even if you have to prosper alone. All right. And my heart really goes out to anyone who's really struggling with this heartache and with this pain and who's having a hard time finding themselves again. You know, I do offer all type of healing and everything to help you get unstuck, you know, to have spiritual readings to help you grow and try to manifest what you are spiritually divinely guided still to have, even if you have to go at it alone. Okay. The divine still wants you to grow. He still have a special gift for you, but it's all about growing and healing and learning from this lesson. Okay. I love you guys. So, <clears throat> I want to go into some energies, y'all. Let's get into the reading, okay? The reading is someone wants you to lead the way, okay? You are being guided to lead the way, okay? Someone, the divine, this message, wants to come home to you, wants to come home to you, okay? But it needs to heal. They need to heal, this situation needs to heal. They want to come home to heal with you. They feel at home with you. Okay? They feel this connection with you. Oof. All right. So... Um, with this reading, I really want to get off into healing. I want to get off into starting off what's going on, okay? From what I'm feeling is the Divine Masculine got played and manipulated, all right? So I'm going to start off with the Divine Masculine's energy here in this reading, okay? In the healing of the Divine Masculine Holy Spirit. Can you please give us the energy in this healing deck for the Divine Masculine? What is it that he's going through right now? Look at that. 
The divine is saying he needs healing. And he is healing. Right? Kudos to you, divine masculine. You need healing. He's trying to make the right choices. All right? Because... Your divine masculine, the divine masculine, is getting help from above. All right? There's divine intervention going on here. Help from above. All right? Divine masculine's energy. He's trying to find his self-love. He's trying to find his self-worth, his beauty about himself. You know, what makes him tick as an individual? You need to learn that. And learning that, you have to weed out certain situations, people, places, things, and environments that don't, you know, produce and show you self-love. Divine Masculine's energy, please. Look at that. The ancestral family tribe, all right? There could be deceased loved ones. He could be having dreams, downloads from ancestrals, from deceased parents, anything like that, deceased grandparents, great-grandparents. He's getting downloads about what to do, which way to go, what's happening, who's real, who's fake, who you are, Divine Feminine. The tribe is here, help from above, all right, because he feels rejected. He know he rejected you. And now he's feeling that same pain that you did. You didn't even cause it. He's feeling rejection from someone else. The same rejection that he put off on you. Okay? So, because he never took off the fucking mask. Alright? You played a mind game. You kept on mask. You kept playing mind fuckery with others. Okay? He, he wore a mask with you, Divine Feminine. Okay? But now, he know that you are wide the fuck awake, Divine Feminine. You are wide the fuck awake. You took off your fucking mask. Okay? You realized what the fuck was going on. You found yourself, love. And you realized this shit that you was in is not for you. And your divine masculine sees that and knows that. And now he knows that he can no longer really bullshit you because you took off your mask and you know he's wearing one. All right? It's like this is 11. All right? It's like you ready to hang this shit up. All right? Are you going to keep wearing the mask forever? Keep bullshitting. All right? All you're doing is hurting yourself. All right. And the bottom card here is, <laughs> it's time for you to discover your life purpose. Divine Femme is here. She's ready. You have to make the choice. You have to close out these cycles. All right. Stop playing the same old song of bullshit. And it's time to do what you need to do to develop into the spiritual union, as well as utilizing your free will if that's your choice. Divine Masculine. All right. So that's what's happening with the Divine Masculine. All right. So the next energy, let's get rolling. All right. The overall energy that's going on. I'm still getting more Divine Masculine energy, which is, all right, Divine Masculine could be going through a mental tower moment. All right. It's like, he fucked up about a situation. He could have found out about something, but something has got him fucked up. Okay? I feel like some secrets came to light. It's like what he did to you, Divine Femme, all the fucked up narcissist mind games that the Divine Masculine played with you, someone played it back on him, and he don't know how to articulate that. All right? He was like, what the fuck? Somebody fucked me over? Somebody won on me. I'm normally the motherfucker, you know? So now he fucked up that somebody fucked him up, okay? You know, that's karma. What goes around comes around. How long do you expect your mind fuckery to last, Divine Masculine? 
All righty, Holy Spirit. So let's go and see what's going on. Could you give me some energy for how the Divine Feminine is feeling right now? Divine, how is the Divine Feminine feeling right now? Let's give me some energy, Holy Spirit. Three energies. You found your love. You found your self-love and your self-respect, Divine Feminine. All right? You found who you are. You found your worth. You know, you found your values. You found, like, what you love about yourself. What you deserve. And you know being treated like shit is not it. Okay? And guess what? From your fucking Divine Masculine. Okay? From your fucking Divine Masculine. Y'all wish they all looked like that. Y'all know some of them fucked up with some bellies. <laughs> okay? But y'all know y'all divine masculine broke y'all heart. He broke y'all heart because he wore a mask. And the sad thing about it is he, went, he, he basically made you wear a mask, divine femme, because you turned into a person that you never knew who you really was with this person. You turned into somebody you didn't even know anymore with this person, you know? And that's why you wore a mask with yourself as well, hiding who you were really to be with someone, you know? You start living your life for someone else. And that's why the divine is saying it's time for you to surrender fully and start living the life for you and take off this mask that someone else made you put on. You didn't even know you was wearing a mask, Divine Femme. But you are feeling lonely and heartbroken at this time. And I do feel that energy and I do sympathize with you because I love you. All right? It's a growing process. And hurt and loneliness is part of growing. Okay? It's part of growing. You know? Mm. Yeah, Divine says, stop being so focused on the past mistakes. Stop acting like you hate everybody. Stop being revengeful. Stop being hateful. Stop being focused on the past and start building on the future. You haven't fully surrendered to this journey until you stop focusing on the past mistakes of yourself and others. You release, forgive, and heal. But it takes time. Okay. All right. So Holy Spirit, can you please give me divine masculine energy? What is the message that you want to give to the divine masculine? What's his energy? His energy at this time is deep seated inner childhood wounds. All right. It's a lot of shit that's in your divine masculine's earlier life, childhood, that you never knew that affected your divine masculine. And now, as an adult, this is all taking over his life and creating these problems and these issues because he never dealt with certain issues as a child or wasn't, you know, given the opportunity to in certain situations, never expressed himself, communicated, showed love. You know, we back to those hugs and kisses. I love you, son. Okay? And it's like overwhelming, drowning, emotional. He can't handle it. He don't know how to feel. He's struggling. He underwater. He trying to reach out. All right? He's in a dark place right now. All right? He could be chained. You know, feeling chained to a situation. Feeling stuck. Your divine masculine could possibly be in jail. He could be in a dark place in his life. Just needing help, support, trying to understand these mistakes that he has probably created for his life. Some of these divine masculines are older, I keep hearing. But they have made mistakes. Some of the divine masculines are younger have made mistakes that's costing them a long time. You know, costing them a lot of energy, you know, messing up their lives, okay? Science before the storm, okay? So your divine masculine could be stepping away from you because it's a storm going on, all right? That once again, he's trying to keep quiet, okay? 
there's a storm brewing in the background. And your divine masculine is hiding that. He's staying away from you, divine fam. So he's silent. So just be cautious. It could be some shit about to go down. A storm warning, tower moment. Okay? And I do get the energy of one to seven days. Okay? And the next energy I got is six to 12. Somebody might get six to 12 months in jail. Okay? So, over a, a spat, they said, or disagreement, or argument, okay? So, I'm going into my next energy, and I want to give a special shout-out to Fire Witch Tara, okay? She gave me a shout-out for her deck, all righty? So, thanks a lot. I appreciate your love. I love supporting other tarot readers, okay? And um, this is brainstorming. So, somebody trying to brainstorm away. To do something to connect with you, divine fam. Okay? Somebody's brainstorming up some shit. Alright? Wow. Somebody could be brainstorming some shit about maybe how to tell you about a pregnancy. Alright? Maybe brainstorming some shit. Wow. They said to um, come up with some money for an abortion. Wow. Okay. I don't support all of that and you know I'm pro-choice all right Holy Spirit all right so someone is involved in a private relationship okay or this is what I feel the divine masculine could possibly want with you all right or he could have multiple private relationships okay the un yes he want this with you He's been having a private relationship with you, and he wants to continue to keep you a secret in a private relationship, okay? The energy I feel is because of fear, okay, of the karmic situation, all right? But it's like so much damage is already done, you know? So... Maybe, you know, somebody found out that he was keeping your secret. We already knew that. Yeah. And now he wants to have a private relationship with you, a secret relationship with you. And he wants to keep your promise that that is the way it will be. All right. That's the way it'll be. Oh, and he wants to protect you. And the divine saying that this will be protected. Okay. All right. So someone is attracting new flavor. All right. Somebody got a wake up call. Somebody's evolving into something beautiful, growing divine film energy. OK. Because someone else know they fucked up and you all know who the fuck this is. OK. Need I say more? Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they said, here you go, baby. To confirm, they fucked up because divine masculine, you always trying to be fake about some shit. All right. All you have to do is learn how to be the real deal. OK, stop putting on the fucking show. All right. When you put on the show, this is what you get. All fucked up. OK. All right. So they said, keep going. They was letting you know. <laughs> All right. They said, stop running away from shit that you create. Stop fucking up and then running away. And then go fuck up somewhere else and then run away. Then go fuck up somewhere else and run away. Do I need to keep going? Own up to your shit. This card is in reverse. And now this is the depression state that I'm feeling. Like a clinical state of depression, all right? Your divine masculine's fuck-ups and runaways have mounted up, okay? And now he is clinically depressed, okay? Your divine masculine could not be eating. He could be losing weight. He could be medicating himself. He could be just staying uh, intoxicated. Wow. All right, so these are some energies that I'm poor because I see them. Your divine masculine 
could have got what? He got kicked to the curb, okay? Or he kicked someone to the curb, a karmic energy here, kicked to the curb, all right? All right, and the next energy I got, he could have got a divorce. He could have broke a commitment, an engagement, okay? Because he was dealing with a what? A fucking hater, all right? But also your divine masculine could be a hater, okay? Somebody was doing drugs, all kind of different drugs, okay? Someone could have fucked up and got in trouble due to drugs. Someone could have been selling drugs, had drugs on them, okay? Mm. What's the energy, Holy Spirit? All right, so somebody could be hanging out just at a sports bar, drinking beer, hanging out with friends, snacks, or even at home, chilling. All right, somebody trying to stay out of the shit, don't want to hear shit. Somebody could be bitching about some stuff at them. Baby mama drama. All right, baby mama drama. All right, just like I said, drama. Tired of fucking drama, so they running away from shit. They not answering their phone. They just don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be bothered with the shit that they created and left everybody would. They decided. I'm tired, and I don't want to be bothered with all this shit I did to everybody. I don't want to hear what the fuck I did to you today. All right? All right? So, you just chilling. You just chilling, Divine Femme. Okay? You guys can have, like, some reddish burgundy hair. You can smoke cigarettes or weed. Okay, but you just chilling. You've been chilling for a long time because you're not going to get caught up in this bullshit. You don't live like this. Okay, you in chill mode. You're an adult. I'm not doing this divine masculine energy here. Okay. All right. And some of you divine films could be single parents. You could have a son. All right. Or divine masculine could be involved with a single parent, with the son, or this could be a baby mama, okay, with the son, all right, so that's some energies, okay, so the next energy I want to pull out is, what just happened with the divine masculine, something just happened, I feel like the divine masculine had a fucking tower moment, okay, it was a tower moment going on with the divine masculine, all right, and I feel like some secrets came out about some shit, all right, Oh, Divine said, here you go. He got caught up. He got caught up in a hotel. He wasn't wearing a condom. He got caught up. Okay, thanks, Divine. He'll be hooking the bitch up with some answers. Oh, right now, he could be broke. He could be money hungry. He could be with somebody for finances. He could have lost his job. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's going on with the Divine Masculine? What came out about him? What's his secrets? What's going on? What's the tea, Holy Spirit? What's brewing with his ass? Oh, okay. He just got kicked to the fucking curb. All right? Or he just kicked somebody to the fucking curb. Okay? What's his secrets? What's his secrets? Mm. He need to um, deal with some crystals and get some healing. His secrets is he know he fucked up. What, why did you fuck up, Divine Masculine? Why? Why did you fuck up? You broke, you spent too much money, you let somebody manipulate you and play you, or you involved in some money, fraud or scam, or you owe somebody some fucking money. Okay? Your divine masculine could want to take you out on a date, okay? But he don't have no money, okay? Just like I said, he got played, manipulated. Somebody could have took his money. Somebody could have played him. Somebody played him like a puppet until he got fucking broke. Okay? Oh, wow. This is copycat energy. This was the copycat bitch. He thought this was his divine film, but it was the karmic bitch who acted like the fucking divine film, who fed him the energy that she was the divine film. That bitch played him. He chose the karmic divine fake over the real shit and got played and manipulated. 
all right? You thought that you could also clone a bitch, okay? Find somebody similar to the real shit. Never. All right? What you found was this bitch, your worst fucking nightmare. And that's what the divine said you fucking get for trying to fuck with the divine film, manipulate her, play her. All right? And try to clone another bitch as such. So you got reversed. Your worst fucking nightmare. And this is your karma. This bitch look creepy, don't she? Mm. That was your clone, bitch. Mm. And now he'll want to talk to his worst nightmare. Boo hoo hoo. Mm. Guess he just gonna ride some shit out, huh? He just gonna ride it out. He's gonna keep watching sports, drinking beer, run away from situations, not answer anything, not respond to anybody. He feeling shame, all right? He feeling hurt, all right? It's not a joke when somebody is depressed or anything, but as an adult, you have to accept eventually, it's 12-12, as an adult, you have to accept eventually that you can't continue to fuck over people and think that you're gonna come out with a positive outcome. Okay, at some point, the fucking divine is going to stop your ass. Okay, you only give people so many fucks that they don't want before you get stopped. Okay, the divine masculine could be extra busy. Okay, or saying he is. Okay, wow, because some shit is about to pop off. Okay, some shit exploded, some shit jumped off. It could have been a fight. It could have been some drama going on, okay? You know, the story of his fucking life. All right? Because somebody envy about some motherfuckers. All right? Jealousy, envy going on here, and along with just sexing. Okay? Just sex. Somebody's still stuck in their little lusty moments. Okay? So, you know, we got to find out some shit. I've been gone all week. Oh, my God. Right? All right? Oh, okay. So somebody running away from, you know, somebody they was just fucking. All right. So he just picking up bitches, fucking them and running away from them. And maybe them bitches like, uh-uh. All right. Now he's starting to wake up from these badass habits, these badass shit, the things that he keep doing. He see the same shit keep happening, a repetitive cycle of bullshit. All right. All right. So let's see what else is happening here. That's what's brewing. The same shit. A new day. Okay? But karma has reached someone. Okay? Karma has reached someone. Okay? It's a lot of decisions and options being chosen and checked out and everything like that. I feel the energy that some of the divine feminines are meeting new people. Divine masculine. Um, divine is putting new people out um, for you to be more selective. Be more... To test you to see if you have um, learned any lessons, okay? Because a lot of you guys broke up with your divine masculine, okay? Because you set boundaries for yourself and you stopped him. You stopped him from his bullshit in your life, okay? Congratulations, all right? The divine masculine could have a pregnancy, he could have someone pregnant. Okay, what else do we need to know? What's his secrets, Holy Spirit? What's his secrets, Holy Spirit? All right, his secrets is that um, he have a family situation going on, okay? Or he should be calling you to tell you maybe he want a family with you, all right? If there's not someone who's pregnant, someone could have recently had a baby, all right? December, January, February, energy, okay? Communication coming in. Someone might want to call you and tell you about a pregnancy. And a family, they got a family or something here. All right. Or want to be a family with you and want to be loyal. All right. They could have a dog. You're a divine masculine and they want to bring the dog home too. But they want to be loyal to you. All right. And they hoping that you would go with the flow. 
okay? All right, so here's some energy that just popped out, okay? So the Divine Masculine, he does regret his behavior and how he's been and how he treated you. He do regret that, okay? And now he want to be happy with you, Divine Femme, okay? He want happiness with you, all right? He want to go on this retreat, okay, with you, okay? And he love your frequency and your energy, okay? He liked that about you, all right? So, he want to make you this promise, okay? Because maybe he learned his lesson. And that's what the divine is saying. Have you learned your lessons yet? You have to learn your lessons, all right? Mm. He learned his lessons for settling for bullshit, okay? He learned his lessons for settling for bullshit. And now he in solitude about his fucking decision for settling for bullshit that he chose over you for fake ass bitches who want to portray a divine feminine. OK, be more selective, divine masculine. All right. You cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. Haven't you heard that before? OK, you can't base a relationship on a good fuck. OK. Now, someone want to take action towards you, all right? Someone could be considering buying a new car, all right? Also, um, someone could have a BMW, a black BMW, okay? The next energy I want to get out is, what is the divine masculine's intentions moving forward? What is his intentions, Holy Spirit, moving forward? What do he want to do moving forward in this journey? Wow, okay. He wants to make you a priority. He wants to be a family with you, Divine Film, and make you a priority, okay? But things are complicated. It's complicated for this connection. It's complicated for him. He's probably in a complicated family situation maybe, okay? But maybe he want to come to your home. Maybe he want to build with you, move in with you, make you priority, okay? Have a home with you, all right? But right now, things can be complicated, okay? But however, he's definitely longing for you. He missed the fuck out of you. He love you. This is mirrored energy on both energies, okay? You guys are missing each other. You love each other. You want to pick up the phone and communicate with each other. But however, there's an ego going on here. There's an ego, okay? What did I say? I want to communicate, both of y'all. So bad, y'all miss each other. Divine saying yes. Aw, that's beautiful energy, okay? All right, but somebody still got that old big personality, all right? They still a little ego-based. You know, just going out there, extroverted, just out there hanging out, communicating, being friendly, okay? So that energy is still there. But however, they want to be loyal, all right? There are some divine masculines that want to be loyal and bring that dog home with you. I don't take shit else that don't pay rent, all right? But divine sin, don't forget to set boundaries, you know, Look for those red flags and put a stop to shit that don't serve you. Okay? There's a breakup. All right? This is the breakup energy. Now, he could have broke up with a Kermit. All right? Or you guys broke up with him. All right? Vice versa energy. Somebody walked away here. Okay? In any situation. Okay? Let me see. All right? Somebody walked away. Oh, so it's a possible breakup, all right? So you guys are mirroring each other and feeling each other's energy, all right? What's going on with this breakup, Holy Spirit? What's going on with this breakup? I feel a lot of different energy. You know, I don't see the um, betrayal card. That's good. Maybe that was past energy, okay? Maybe that was past energy, all right? Maybe that was past energy because it's a lot of regret. Your divine masculine is still feeling your frequency. And he's got so many feelings of regret 
because he's mirroring your beautiful energy and he's just not there. He's in a state of depression. He regret losing you. He regret not loving you properly. He regret, you know, not going with the flow that you guys had. You guys had a flow. You was having fun together, hanging out together. You know, you guys were a beautiful couple having fun together. He regret not just going with that flow. He regret getting stuck in temptation. All right. Now he's all in this contemplation about you. He regret. He feels too weak right now, divine fam. He love you, but he's in his own remorse. He's feeling like his own, sending his own sack of shit. And he's contemplating on getting in contact with you. All right? Because he do want change with you. Okay? He do want this change with you, divine fam. All right? And he do want to take action, but he's stuck in contemplation. Okay? He's stuck because you guys are in conflict with each other. Missing each other like fuck. But it's like you don't trust him. You're tired of the fucking roller coaster. You're tired of the ghosting, the in and out. You're tired. You know, he keep you guys in conflict because all he want to do is come in and be intimate and fuck. Okay? And, and it's like you don't even trust him no more. You know, your own fucking soulmate. You don't trust him that he's not going to run this mind fuckery on you again. You know, you don't trust that he's going to be loyal to you again. You know? Because he's very flirty and friendly and love to go out and hang out. Okay? You know, and be the life of the party. Okay? So, I want to get some more Divine Masculine and Karmic Energy, please, Holy Spirit. And I'm using this old dark-ass deck because that's what the fuck Karmic Energy mean to me. Dark-ass shit. Okay? All right. So, a lot of you guys been going through a lot of black magic manipulation. You guys could be feeling lazy, tired as fuck, you know, unmotivated drained and shit because somebody keeps fucking with y'all you know divine saying get your rest i'm working in the background i'm doing my divine intervention okay because your divine masculine is really hurt he in the darkness so this is his dark energy because you guys walked away all right you could be a redhead all right so he's in um pain because of you walking away all right Because he was just all about himself, all about his greed and his lust, all right? All he wanted was greed and lust. It was like some of you divine feminine seeing him as the fucking devil, okay? The devil. He could have had been forceful. He could have had been aggressive. He could be mean sometimes. He could have come to you drunk, okay? Look at those eyes, okay? All right. All right. And all he did was disillusion you, fed you illusions, just made your mind off whack. OK. And him and his karmic energy was full of illusions with each other. All he did was self-indulge with each other. That was it. OK. That's all he did was self-indulge. All they did together, okay? But now, he has made himself unavailable to everyone. He has basically disappeared from the karmic, okay? Disappeared. He's unavailable, all right? And it's almost making this karmic turn cold, mad, all right? He realized in all this lust that was going on, it's not the way to live. And some of this could have got him caught up, okay? He realized being with this karmic was one-sided. She wanted everything, and she didn't want to give hardly nothing. But the pussy, of course. Okay? He realized this karmic situation, like I said, was totally unstable. This is not the way to live. He's unstable right now. He have not grown. This wasn't nothing but stagnant fucking. 
Okay? The stagnant fucking. That's all this was. A fuck fest. It wasn't about growing. It wasn't about love. It wasn't about responsibility. It wasn't about that. All it was was, let's go fuck and find other people to fuck. And how do you grow from that? Okay? All this was was a sexual lusty union. Okay? And now, he in an uncomfortable position. Okay? He's uncomfortable where he at. Where he living, how he feel, what he did, who he was with, who he could be with now if he's with someone, okay? He's uncomfortable, all right? And that's my maybe why he wants to come home because he's going to escape that situation. In the middle of the night, he's going to creep out and disappear. I'm sorry, thumbs down, bitch, if you heard this. Hi, I love how you take the time to watch my energy just to give me a thumbs down each and every fucking video. I appreciate you. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. All right. He want to escape because he realized he's in a superficial relationship, a superficial situation. He realized himself that he is being superficial now. Okay, he could have been getting downloads. You know that ancestral tribe is here. Okay, waking his ass up to who's real and who's not. Okay, he's getting all kind of dreams. Okay, he's being hunted. These are like lucid, scary dreams about shit that could be coming to hunt him or thinking that he about to die or something like that because of all the shit that he have did to other people. Okay. He's really having a hard time dealing with all the shit that's coming back to him now, okay? And now he's trying to distance himself away from this karmic situation, all right? Because it's fake and he's tired. He realized it didn't go nowhere. All he did was basically kill him and kill you guys, okay? Somebody was really jealous of what you guys had because it was real and it was special. Okay, I want to say that. I just heard that. It was special. Okay, damn, y'all, what I say? Six to 12 months. Mm, mm, mm. Six to 12 months. Oof. All right, and somebody might not be available until the summer. Okay. Somebody might not be available to the summer. All right. So warning y'all, it's a drama queen going on. All right. Somebody could try to contact you guys with some bullshit. Okay. But divine is saying you have grown, have grace. Don't cater to this bullshit. Don't cater to it. Don't acknowledge it. You don't owe anybody any fucking answers about shit in your life or your personal relationships. Okay. You're an adult. We're not in high school. Okay? All right? And it's time to have an honest talk, an honest discussion about shit. Honest. Honest. Okay? And you're almost there, okay? You're almost there. All right, keep going. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, you're almost the fuck there. Okay, so don't give up. All right, a lot of you guys are trying to find your way out this fucking maze, out this trap. You guys want to utilize your free will, and a lot of you guys just want to break free from this shit. Y'all tired. All right, those are, I feel those the energy of people who have been going through this maze for like years and shit. Years. Years. You know, and haven't just had nothing but distance. And this is what I'm saying. Divine is saying, follow your passion in life. He got you. All right? Take that fucking road trip. I'm taking some road trips and stuff I'm planning so I can give you guys some tarot at the beach. Okay? We're going to do some tarot at the beach just so y'all can see some scenery, some beauty, and we're going to cleanse our energy as well. Okay? So, follow your passion in life. Follow your dreams. A lot of y'all want to do shit, be shit, have shit. Follow that shit. Divine is saying, I'm supporting you. I got you. But get up off that ass and let's make it move.
Okay? You know, he said, if you help yourself, I'll help you. Okay? And it's like, somebody wants you to stay by their side. Okay? Stay by your fucking side. All right? And a lot of you guys already know that you're star seeds and light workers. Utilize that shit. Okay? Mm. And don't forget, it's a karmic relationship still brewing, y'all. Something's still going on with this fucking karmic relationship. Okay? So. Oh, okay. Divine is saying that. Somebody want redemption from this karmic relationship. They want forgiveness. Okay? They want forgiveness, y'all. All right? Look at this shit. They want to find their way back to you. They want to come home. All right? They want to heal and find their way back to you. Okay? But it's still some karmic energy here. And I'm going to get my real deal deck so I can... See what this karmic energy is, guys, okay? I'm still feeling some karmic energy. See, I told you guys, the first card here is what? Sneaky. Behavior. Be aware. All right? So, let me find out what's going on here. Sneaky behavior. Be aware. Okay? Holy Spirit, please give us the messages that we need to know with this karmic relationship. With this karmic relationship, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know with the karmic relationship? Okay, wow. That it was all false. It was fake. It was nothing from the beginning. It was false. It wasn't ever meant to be. What else do we need to know? Wow, with the karmic relationship, somebody is pregnant. All right. Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know about this karmic relationship? Wow. The karmic could be in another relationship already. Okay. What else do we need to know? What the fuck did I say? Somebody going to jail or is already in fucking jail? This karmic relationship, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know with this karmic relationship? <laughs> they just need to say they love you, Divine Film, because they realize they fucked up and made the wrong choice. Look at this card popped out again. This karmic relationship, there wasn't nothing but sneaky, deceitful behavior, okay? What else do we need to know about this karmic relationship, all right? What I say? Somebody drink too fucking much. That's all they do is drink and get high and fuck. All right? Look at this karmic relationship. Look at this shit. All this shit coming out. Somebody unemployed. Okay? They don't work. All right? The karmic relationship, both of them could be manipulators, narcissists, two narcissists. Okay? The karmic relationship, bisexual energy. Okay? Bisexual male. All right. Hmm. All right. Karmic energy is a player. All right. They players. All they do is manipulate and play you and divine saying that they will hurt you. All right. The karmic hurt them. All right. So that's the karmic energy. Wow. And they just using drugs. Just like I said. All right, so that's the karmic energy. Oh, wow, look at this card. She pregnant. All right, that's more confirmation that the karmic is pregnant. That's why I like to dig in my own shit, because I know some more secrets behind this shit, y'all. And I got to give it to y'all. Bitch been gone all week. I got to catch up and shit. All right? <laughs> all right? <laughs> all right. Now, what I want to do to end this shit and, you know, shut me down a little bit because he got a message for y'all ass. All right. He got a message for y'all. Look at this because he's thinking about y'all. He missed you guys. All right. He wants this new beginning. You're in his heart, his head. Okay. Holy Spirit with the Kipper deck. 
Tell us what we need to know, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? What's going on? Somebody want change. Somebody's ending a situation, packing their shit, and getting the fuck on. Somebody could live in like a brownstone type of thing, an apartment uh, complex. You took, um, you know, an apartment complex type of energy here, okay? And it's your divine masculine. He's packing his shit and he's getting the fuck on. He won't change. Okay? He could be moving out of an apartment building. All right? He could also have a child, a daughter. He could be concerned about. All right? That he still have to support. Okay? With a mature woman. A mother figure. Okay? What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? All right. <clears throat> he know that some of you divine feminines are waiting and expecting him to come back to return to you. He knows this. He knows that you've been sitting and waiting, okay, for change. All right. He know that maybe some of you divine mass feminines are coming into some finances, all right? Y'all don't let these um, divine masters come around and take y'all tax money now. Okay? All right. Yup. They're coming around. All right? Divine fem is something, I just feel like it's something about some fucking money. Or you could be stable financially. All right? That he likes about you. It's stability. All right? That he likes about you. All right, he want to build with you. He see success with you. He wants to court you again, and he want to marry you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna give you guys some chakra chakra energies. Okay. You know, involving this what connection. Okay. Yep. You guys just want honesty. All right. You want communication. You want honesty. You want truth. You're mirroring each other. This communication that could be coming in. All you want is fucking truth. Okay. Enough already. Just, just say what's on your mind. Let me take my beating. I already know. Queen of Wands already told me. Okay. So it's like visualization. All right. This is what I was saying. Visualization. If you guys visualize what it is that you truly want and desire in your life, the divine is saying, I got you. He's supporting you. You have to build your dreams. You have to start them. You have to ask for them. You got to think about them, plan them, orchestrate them. And he's saying, I got you. He see you. He's saying, I got you. All right. Divine is saying, I got you. Build. Think about what it is. Manifest. I'm going to take care of you. You guys are like got so many dreams, authors, entrepreneurs, designers, singers, just et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You guys got so many things going on. And he's saying, just like I said in the beginning, now that you have surrender, what now? What are you going to do now? Grow. I got you. This is what I have for you guys tonight. Okay? And your divine masculine has a message for you. I'm so happy I'm back. I missed you guys. And if you'd like to order a personal reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. I have completed all my readings. I am waiting for a new round. And Patty's back in the house. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.